Alright, so back to this. Do not miss lowering the volume every time because it's so damn loud. But let me get my timer started on my phone and we can get into it again. Uh, first actual reborn video in quite some time. Um, I believe we're on part 25 or 26 looking at videos at a uh, uh, reborn'sgame.exe. Yeah, so, oh, it has this one listed, but it's still going, obviously, but, yeah, so this is part 26, um, and again, if you've seen, I uploaded a Reborn continuation video, but in, along with the fact that this is the first part in, like, a couple months at this point, but, again, and with that, I'll, I'll get into the reason why and sort of just... A quick synopsis of the reborn continuation video that I uploaded basically we got stuck in reborn right at this shade battle you know and between that and being very busy and preoccupied with work um again I basically made the decision to put reborn on hiatus for the time being However, I have a pretty consistent string of time or period across these like next couple to few months to be able to record, as well as I think I found the solution to a problem with Shade, right? Um, again, yeah, let's uh, speed this up, shall we? Again, so I will show that here. Going back to the Barrel Ward, the PC. One, first off, um, all my team is level 39, right? Which, reason being the level cap's level 40. However, looking at the PC, add passwords. In case you didn't know, there are is a password function in this game. I went over it as well as all the passwords we added in the continuation video. But just to quickly show here, we basically went and used a password, um... Well, one, you use data chips, which we had two of. You get one at the beginning and one after being Dr. Connell. And the two sort of like password, I guess, I don't want to say groups, but you know, I guess password, uh, I guess kind of groups, right? But the two almost like packages that we activated were quality of life, right? Which the big thing coming out of that one is it, it has the, um, I believe, what is it? It is, uh hard cap it caps you at the uh it stops you from gaining xp at the level cap versus your pokemon gaining more and then not obeying your orders i.e superior and um cricketune in our pc so that's the main thing to come as well as just other stuff so we have an xp all you know we have uh hms like not needing to teach them to our pokemon and automatically being able to use them ability to access the pc anywhere you know, right? So, uh, that's the main thing. And then, just no poison damage, right? Stable weather, again, you know, really just, uh, again, main quality of life stuff. That's the first one. The second is easy mode. And this did a few things. Um, one, full IVs. All Pokemon we catch from here on out are gonna have full IVs. Uh, it doesn't apply to our current team, but that's just moving forward. Um, two is light mode. Basically, what that means is it goes from the trainers having max EVs and IVs to zero. Granted, I'm curious to see how much of a difference this is going to make, simply given I'm not a competitive Pokemon player. I genuinely don't know how much of a difference like that's going to make. My hope is it makes enough. Um, money bags exist double XP, and the last big one is stop items, and it prevents trainers from using items. We can still use as items, but trainers cannot. Granted, unfortunately, we don't, we still don't have access to good healing items. Super potions are the best we have access to at this point, along with, you know, the fact that there is still a level cap, there's no way to bypass that. However, the best we can do is have it so that our Pokemon just stop. Um, again, gain XP at that, which is really nice. But basically, this is what we're working with. And this is, my hope is that this gives us close enough to the beat to defeat Shade. Because either we're able to beat him, or if, like, let's say we get close enough, unfortunately, we cannot use Krikatoon and Superior. But I can train up Dawn Fan 
I feel like Dom Fan would be a really good bet against Shade. But again, my hope is that with kind of what we've set up, and I'm going to pull up his team, you know, Pokemon Reborn Shade. Again, I'm just going to, um, I just want to see his team, right? So, all right, Jesus Christ, dude. So, Entity Shade, uh, you're a you power plant. So, again, we're looking at his team right here. Um, so, yeah, but the big thing is, again, because, yeah, I'm looking at it, and, yeah, Max Ivy's, but we, again, um, what's the term? We put an end to that, so... But the big thing is, my hope is that this is enough. Um, I can theoretically, because, like, the problem is, even if I... Was this... Hold on. <laughs> this is has to be, like, some Easter egg or something, because, like... If you know the lore of Drift Balloon, you know, that's what also, yeah, we got fucked on the items too. Um, but, uh, I don't think I can kill this thing or, or like damage this thing without killing it. Um, I don't even know if we want to, like, just kill this thing we saved this kid i was i was gonna say if you know the lore of uh lapis ward yeah we literally saved that kid if you don't know the lore of a uh, drift balloon basically it uh it's obviously a balloon kids uh grab it and then it just takes them away to wherever but that's why i was like i i not noticed that when training but anyway my hope is that we can beat shade if because the problem is one, we don't have any more data chips. Two, any other... Like, the only other one that would benefit us that wouldn't fundamentally alter the game is to um, get rid of the EV cap for us, which is what I plan to use in the next one now. But any other one would just fundamentally alter the game, like, or its mechanics. Like, there's one where we can make every trainer's Pokemon a Budu. There's one where we can make their Pokemon a percentage of their actual level. So we would just make it like 50% and just steamroll the game. But I don't want that to be the case. I just want this to be fair, you know, which is looking at his team, right? So he leads off with Gengar. So that's why like, uh, sh yeah, my hope is that, you know, So yeah, let's fight him, and let's actually try to, like... My hope is we get close enough. I just want to get close enough. I'm not... Honestly, I'm not expecting to win. Even with this, I just want to get close enough to where it's like, alright. Entity Shade. So, game on. And we do outspeed it. And damn, we one-shot it. Oh, first body. So that's how I already know this is different. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, that Dew Blade. Because I'm pretty sure before he just outsped us and one-shot us. But again, because we have minimum IVs, Dew Blade, that is a Steel Ghost. Uh, let's switch into Growlithe is our best bet. And again, I just... And I'm curious to see if the uh, cap... Synthetic Seed. And it... Well, the problem is we can't use close combat, so flamethrowers are really only option here. Damn it, we still killed it. So... Yeah, EXP all is nice. Rotom. And it's just a normal Rotom too, right? Electric Ghost, unfortunately, we don't really have a good, um... Yeah, I think our only one that can, it, like, damage it... Yeah, I'm switching to Leopard. I guess we had Crunch on, um... But this still deals more, uh, damage, right? So... Please, uh, break through confusion. 
Nice. So yeah, this makes the game a lot easier and a lot more fair. Mimikyu, and Mimikyu's, uh, this is his main one, it's Ghost Fairy. So I don't actually think we have a move that's like super effective against Ghost Fairy. Um... Is because I'm pretty sure Fairy resists Dark. Yeah, let's just send in Growlithe. And it's also shiny, right? Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna die here, but... So I think our next best bet is probably just switch back into Leopard. Um, because I genuinely don't know if... I'm pretty sure Fairy does resist... Uh dark so yeah and again play rough super effective against it. so I think we just need to who has it so 95 speed 81 62 96 it has thunderbolt though I'm thinking thunderbolt shadow call play rough so I think the only one of our Pokemon that like resists it is Pachirisu. So And we can use like I mean well we just need to use Spark here. Okay, it's got Sword Stance. That is uh Holy crap, that Alright, we might still lose this fight, but I do know we are at least close enough. Hold on, let's Thunder Wave it, because this is gonna, like, actually fuck us up. Alright, we're about to lose, I think. Oh, we got lucky. <sighs> yeah, 5 HP is extremely lucky, and we outspeed it now, so... Please deal enough. Alright, nice, yeah, we got very lucky there, but... Again, this is what I needed, because unfortunately I'm not that the greatest at these games. If you had noticed, uh, it's sending in his Delmis, right? You know, um, so that is a Ghost Grass. Uh, well, let's switch into, I think, Jinx, or on Pheasant, and his last Pokemon is... He still has a Bayonet, so let's, uh, yeah, let's use Jinx, because, again, the whole Psychic thing is, like, uh, Avalanche. Oh, it outsped us. That's tough. <laughs> oh, my bad. I should have seen that coming, but let's use, uh, on Pheasant, then. Yeah, Air Slash. Anchor shot. Oh, that's. I forgot, because that's its, like, signature move. Bayonet. And again, this is his last, so. I think, yeah, just hard swap into Sea King. And it has Cursed Body, so... Synthetic Seed, Electromagnetism... Fuck, I forgot... Because Cursed Body is such a troll. But uh, again, normal attacks don't... I didn't really think this through. Um... Oh, oh, Cursed Body didn't activate. I guess that's nice. Alright. So, for the first time in two months, we're finally making progress. Horn Drill, we're not learning that troll-ass move. Like, we're not doing that. And yeah, so fine enough, they all grew level 40. Abyss favors the Forsaken. Tough.
Omen badge. Yours. Oh, we got... Oh, so that's our fourth badge. Level four... I did not realize this was like a gym battle or a gym fight. Enable flash. Gift. Hey, yeah, give me that shit. Oh, activate the power to the... Alright, what are we looking... I, for I forgot about all these fuckers. Kane too. Oh my god, I hate Kane. Who the hell is this I? I guess, you know, what were they like? Trapped on the other side trying to get to the city? Like, there's no way they couldn't have just gone around. That's... Alright, dude. Like... Seize them. Who is he talking to? Oh, it's fucking Team Meteor. There's no way you're gay body by Team Meteor Grunts, you know? Kane? Oh my god. You know? Bruh, there's no way all of our allies got body by Team Meteor. Oh my god. Freaking Kane. Damn. Actually fundamentally altered the map. Commander Sirius? Oh, I guess that's who this dude is. Let him go. You can literally just jump across the damn thing. We got alright, so he's like, alright. The doctor? Oh my god, it's Dr. Connell, dude. Alright, even the video grunts like, why are we uh he's like, why are we taking orders from Dr. Connell? You know, oh who the hell is this? Private, you know, agent. Who is this? Am I stupid? Wait, we've met this person before. They're one of the leaders. Like, Borealis, yeah, because we Borealis killed himself, you know. Systems manager. Alright, you know, Ace? I don't know what happened with Ace. Or did they like fail or something? I don't remember. I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm still but this is someone we know though. Cause this was I'm pretty sure this was one of the leaders, uh the green haired chick, right? They're like the the sister, you know. I'm still commanding an officer, you know. So they literally just showed up, had a conversation, and dipped, like... Yeah, Meteor. Sirius, is he? I don't think he's the leader. Um, dying souls off for the keys to your gate. Alright, so Rip, I think he means, you know, he's saying that basically everyone who got captured was dead. First off, let's say, thank God, you know, for easy mode and quality of life. Like, honestly, like, clutch. Like, actually, very, very, very clutch. Um... So yeah, we need to, I guess, make our way and re-link up with Kate. We do have a uh, Grand Hall rip. And we all I Yamask and Yamask are the souls of uh the living dead, right? Like the whole uh Oh thank god Pachirisu has run away. Like, normally I dog on that ability, but, like, with the trolly nature of everything, I'm just so glad we're finally making progress in this game after however many months. Like, um, oh my god, are we gonna get, like, encounters? Like, because I do want to see what the rest of the, uh, factory, like, looks like. But... Or I guess, I think we are locked. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think we are activated, because we need to activate all those to get, uh, to fight Shade. This is literally the first... Like, we haven't made progress in this game in, like, months. Like, that's actually, like, it's it's just so nice. I mean, it sucks that I needed to basically, like... But it's also, like, we're not fundamentally altering the game, we're just making it easier. Like... You know, some people will, like, dog on me for that, but the reality is, you know, I'm not a competitive Pokemon player, right? You know, I play for fun, you know? I'm not gonna grind just to, like, you know, really progress in a game. And this should be locked, too, right? So, yeah, we just... I swear, I do... Because we've seen that green hair chick. Like, I'm pretty sure they were one of the leaders. Wait, hold on. Let me go to my... I just, first let me get out of this factory. So, I'm pretty sure we have their, um... Unless I'm stupid. Hold on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the second leader we fought. Unless I'm, like, completely wrong. But also, damn! 
There's 10, there's 20 badges? That's actually crazy. Also, what's nice is each uh, badge number lists the level cap. That's actually really cool. So, like, we now that we have his, we can go up to 45. Next one's 50, next 55, next, like, that's actually really nice. But I'm pretty sure that the green-haired chick was the second gym leader we had fought. Like, just throwing that out there, you know? Also, yeah, so we need to make our way back to, um... I guess, you know, this game picks up after insurgents of having the gym leaders be just, like, just horrible people, right? You know, now we got gym leaders joining Team Meteor. Also, I could throw the, um... Have we seen this chick before? What the fuck is... Easy HMs. Well, I... You know... I have that as part of the, but, so I could add Superior and, uh, you know, Cricketune back into our party now. Who did I have them replaced by? Jinx, and then who else? I don't know. Honestly, I might just roll with my current party. Hmm. I do want to, who, because, and I did consider using, so like, nah, I'm gonna throw these two back into the party. I just, who, who else did I have? Here's the thing, though, we need on Pheasant for Fly. Well, I guess we don't really. We need Sea King for any surfing, uh, me on Pheasant for Fly. And then we had, I think it may have been, um, it was probably Pachirisu. I think it was Pachirisu. So yeah, I mean, it was nice having those two on our team, but I think we need to welcome back our main party members. So yeah. Or maybe it was, I don't know. So yeah, now we have the main members of our- and, but now that we have that uh, H uh, level cap, that's just never going to be an issue again. Yeah, X is a Felstinger slash Sing. It, it was still a fucking rock smash on this thing. Um, but yeah, I think this is what we were- our original team was, if I recall. Maybe we didn't have- I don't recall if we had, like, Sea King or not, I don't know. But I think we need Sea King for any water, because even though we have the easy HMs, we still need him for Waterborne, and we still need Unpheasant for Fly. We just can't use uh, Fly yet. We don't have whatever. Otherwise, we'd be able to use it from here. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, we had Growlithe. I think... Well, I think Growlithe might have actually been the last uh, add. Um, not Pachirisu, but I still think we get more use out of uh, Growlithe. So, yeah. I think this is going to be the party we're going with. Um, and then, yeah. So, we need to make our way to where Kane is. Oh my god, it feels like actually making progress in this game is like... Man, I, I really... This... I did not realize we get uh, encounters on the street. Um, I really did miss this game, honestly, because like, but I feel like honestly, all of the issues I have this game are gonna go away now that I'm playing on easy mode. Like that sounds like. I mean, I saw, but <sighs> we're not alone. All right, came being serious for once. Also, we did save all the police officers. That's how we got the Growlithe from uh, this station. So, found him. Who's that? Amaria, you know. Anna tossed me this weird chip. Is it a data chip? Can I get that chip? Ace, center stick. Wait, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. This is a team medium. We literally just beat this person. All right, let's fuck him up now. You were at Ronda Cry. There's, I mean, they are. Like, that's... This is my point, like, I guess to be fair, they did mention Ace, so I don't know if they had like a falling out, because we did fight and beat Ace, but I was, they, I don't, you can't just say was like that, like, first off, I don't think
think we saw them like quit Team Meteor, so I don't know why we're just assuming they're not with them. Uh, second, like, that's not something, like, you can't join a terrorist organization, commit terror, like, acts of terror, and then be like, oh yeah, I, I quit, like, you know, uh, that was my past life. Like, that's not how that works, you know? It saved my life. I don't recall this. I don't remember this. I suppose I should explain. I don't remember this. That's why I was like, I made an opening for him and Boreas to escape. I faced off against that woman. Ace? Like, because Boreas killed himself, right? You know, Lynn. Oh, Lynn. All right, because she got beat. That was when, because we fought Ace, but that was when everyone was fighting. Like, all of Team Meteor against all of our allies. So, yeah, this this is the flashback. Flashback to that fight. Because we beat Ace. And again, Lynn. So, Lynn is that, you know, the green-haired chick. That's why I was like, you know, them being on, like, Team Meteor was, uh... Because this is Amaria is Boreal's son, or Jesus Christ's daughter, and she had the bracelets that were from her mother, which is how Boreal's got roped into Team Meteor. You know? You chastise an arm for protecting. That's what I was gonna say. We beat the fuck out of Ace. Like. Bro, so I guess Lynn went to uh, Sirius, right? Yeah, you, bitch, what do you mean you were fired? Like, that makes no sense. Like, I feel like if you're a part of a terrorist organization or like a fucking like gang or like even just like some criminal ring or enterprise, you don't just get fired. It's not like a fucking nine to five business job where it's like, oh, here's your uh, resignation. Like. Being a part of Team Meteor, I feel like you have access and knowledge of information that you should. I feel like they would have just killed her and dumped her. Like, you know, but I guess the story is Lynn went to Sirius, got Ace fired, replaced her. Even though Lynn's giving attitude towards Sirius, I guess he better respects the uh, ambition versus Ace, you know, sticking with more, I guess, like, you know, uh, sort of like respect and tradition, dignity. But I feel like we just beat the fuck out of this person. Like, I don't. Like, we're really supposed to just believe they're now on our side. You know, I dragged her to the base. Alright, so good. I guess good on Ace, though. Like, in the Sapphire bracelets, you know. I mean, Borealis knows. Chances are, or new, Ace probably knows. I was about to say, Ace probably knows why they're important. You know? Yeah, Ace is like, I got replaced. Slaving over a street steaming command. So that's who... I don't know what the command line console is, right? Seemingly whatever program allows the uh, Tangro to just go crazy. You know? I mean, alright, they're being corny as shit. Alright, to be fair though, who was the, like... It was Zell. Zell was like the triple personality. So they, they got some real freaks on uh, part of Team Meteor. But I guess Lynn is a much more dangerous adversary than Ace because they're not as, you know, I guess comical. Or they're not as... What's the term? Showy or performy, right? But Agent Ace, Master Magician, Technological Systems. Again, probably whatever was enabling the tank growth, uh, you know. I, what? How about you tell us everything you know? But the tank growth, uh, experiment machine, right? Again, am I like I think they're gonna connect that to the whole Tangro thing. How about you shut the fuck up, you know? The new girl. Alright, but so that's unrelated to Lynn. T can be whatever. Just chances are their name starts with T, but you know, different from Lynn. Bryce is like I was about to say, uh, I, 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 I find that hard to believe, you know, honestly, 
honestly, I would not be surprised if she betrays us by the end of this game. Like... Officer Gavin? Whoa! He's like, wait, he's like, how do you even know my name? You know? That boy, boy, Alice, yeah, I mean, he's literally dead. Like, you know, dogging them for months, you know? To be fair, he was a gym leader, so that makes what, like, two of the fucking four gym leaders are part, that we've seen are part of Team Meteor? Like... I just didn't... They get the fuck off the computer, like, you know. Alright, Amanda, you're not touching any electronics uh, until the end of this. Or uh, Maria, Jesus. Alright, I, I was about to say, there's no fucking way they just unzipped that, you know. Moss water. So, the snake, you know, and who's that referring to? Boy, er, Boy Alice, right? So, yeah. Because we got that from Boy Alice. Three other pulses. That's again, you know, like the tank growth. Well, we kind of got, uh, cause what was it? We got a bit of insight into their plans, basically, and kind of the end goal of Team Meteor, basically to create, it's like a unlimited or, cause we, we met their leader and then I don't think we fought them, but I think we just like had that conversation with them. I, I would need to go back to that specific part but basically they're trying to create like unlimited energy like type deal, right? And then who knows with that, right? Apophil Beach, Big Spician Wasteland, you know? The Paradise Ward of Freeborn City, we literally have been there, you know? That's just down the stairs. So, yeah, she's like, I'm gonna be outside and even, you know. I mean, they're probably back with Dr. Connell, let's be real here, I think they're kind of done for. You know, yeah, Kane's like, I'm gonna be honest, you know. Yeah, Kane's like, yeah, five kids, uh... Bruh, Ace still has, like, radio access? Like, what the hell? You know, they aren't so big on cybersecurity, you know. But, yeah, that's why I'm like, freaking, it's Dr. Connell, you know. Yeah, the Pulse Tank Growth Machines, you know. Shut the fuck up. Alright, you know. Black stream. You know, factory nears here. Just a jaunt down the stairs and I'll bring your A game. Oh my god. What do you have to say about all this? You know? Yeah, this guy's like, damn, I'm really holding it. Alright. So, am I stupid? Where was the bomb? Well, it's just down the stairs, right? Because it's in the Paradox Ward, right? Also, have I healed? Oh, the factory, I know where that is. That's like, down here, right? Alright, honestly, I'm gonna save here. I feel like this is a good point to save. We beat, you know, we finally beat Shade, and now the story's moving forward. For the first time in however long. But, with that, I think we're also at a good point to uh, end it. And with that, I don't really have anything else to say for this part. So yeah, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.